was a time when this Mexican richness wasn't celebrated in what was then the Valley of Heart's Delight. In fact, some would say that was because the strong arm of discrimination had a stranglehold on this community. Well, I never knew that was happening. But as I started, you know, experiencing things here and there. That's um, when Consuelo Avitia decided things had to change. She and her husband got involved with El Organismo Mexicano Cívico Cultural, the Mexican Civic and Cultural Organization. The group gave birth to Los Lupeños, the pride of San Jose. <laughs> The Avitia legacy of community service began when Carlos Avitia decided to pack his bags in the Mexican state of Durango and head north. But something kept luring him back every month. He had crossed paths with Consuelo. Wow, I said, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> a month later, the two were married and settled in San Jose. Carlos worked as a union leader at the Felton Aluminum Company. He fought for better wages and treatment of his co-workers. But after those daily battles, Carlos knew there was always home to look forward to. I have never taken the time to tell it that whatever I have accomplished, I have accomplished only half of it because the other half belonged to her. Oh, that's sweet. See, he never says those things to me. <laughs> Uh oh <laughs> no Consuelo was the rock for Carlos, but she was also making her own mark. Hi, uh, this is Consuelo from the city clerk's office. Aside from her immeasurable community work, Consuelo is really the glue that keeps the San Jose City Hall together. She codes and files away every item on the city council minutes, and she makes sure the mayor and council members get paid on time. It's that work ethic that inspired the couple's two daughters into community service. My parents have been incredible role models their entire life to us. Sonia Avitia has helped countless people as the executive assistant to State Senator John Vasconcelos. Her degree in business management has also helped Sonia become a director with Mary Kay Cosmetics, helping women establish their own businesses, and she credits her parents for that success. The words will never be able to truly convey how much we love you. A Stanford grad and Santa Clara law student, Cindy Avitia also knows the value of community service. She's already helped dozens of low-income people with their immigration paperwork, oftentimes for free because Cindy realizes she herself comes from a family of immigrants. It's my way of saying I'm proud of our journey. I am so proud of our journey and I want to work to help other people make that same journey. And there's perhaps deeper pride knowing who gave her the motivation to care for others. I'm so honored to be your daughter. And that is because of the wonderful example you've set for me and my sister. My daughters are my pride and joy. I am so proud of them. Who they have become? Yes, they do. They mean everything to me. And I'm getting emotional. Look at my <laughs> you, you are tricking me. <laughs> but that's how the Avitias live their lives, with lots of emotion toward each other and their community. They've already changed so many other lives, and they're not stopping anytime soon. The Avitias say their community work is only beginning.